Diddy, a.k.a. Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, whatever you want to call him, he used to be a hip-hop legend. Is that still the case? I don't know. Finally, we seen Diddy get locked up. No bail for Diddy. He had a nice run between the time of the initial raids and the time that he did get picked up in a hotel in New York. Reports are that he did want to turn himself in. The authorities wanted to make a show of it by arresting him. They like to do that sometimes. One thing that's going to be interesting to look at is Diddy does have a black prosecutor, a black judge, and a lot of women that are going to be, you know, assistants to that prosecutor you know, on this trial. So I definitely think optics are going to play a part in this. This is going to be a long process. This isn't going to be uh, anything quick. We can look at what's going on with Young Thug right now and see how long this can play out sometimes. He's probably going to spend the next couple of years dealing with this. But what does all of this mean? From the charges that they do have against him, they they looking like they're going after the Rico with it, which is, you know, that's interesting. So during the raid, they did find guns, drugs, and, of course, everybody knows about the baby oil. A lot of baby oil. A lot of baby oil. In lube. A lot of baby oil in lube. You know, lighting. He had the bad boy OF going on in there, crazy. With all of that being said, it makes you kind of think, right? And yes, like, this is not shooting Diddy any type of bill. So it was allegedly kind of known over the years what was going on with Diddy. You always had the rumors of the gay rapper that nobody would, you know, name, but everybody kind of knew that they were talking about Diddy. It makes you wonder if in any ways the kind of role that hip hop plays in, you know, sexuality of men, if, if some of this kind of played into what made him turn into what he became down the line. The fact that this isn't really kind of something that's acceptable in hip hop. So did that kind of make him suppress it? And as he gained power, he was kind of letting this out in more destructive ways. I don't know. That's just kind of food for thought. Also, with his name in the press like this in the in the video already surfacing of, you know, what he did Cassie in that hallway at that hotel, which is disgusting. How do you really expect to get a fair shake at a trial without people already being tainted to what's been going on with you and what you you're accused of? And also, we got to kind of look at what he is accused of. There's plenty more to come out. We don't have all the details yet, but it sounds like he's really being accused of being nasty. I'm not sure how illegal being nasty is, and that's what this whole trial is about. Flying people in to participate, and you know, all those technicalities where the crimes came in. But I really want to kind of see the social perspective of, of what happens with this. We've already seen, you know, some of the angles that they may try to go at with kind of shaming Cassie, saying that some of this was what she liked. And even if it's what Diddy liked, I want to see how this plays out to see if we're, you know, at a stage in society where we're really kind of like judging people's kinks, for a better word. That's going to be interesting. And really, what does this do to the public opinion? Some would say that his name and reputation is already taking a hit, no Diddy, that he can't really come back from. And it's going to be really interesting to see if this is because of the legal things that he's done or if this is from perception and morality. That's going to be something that's going to be interesting to look out for. Especially since there's already kind of been a trend to reset where hip-hop is going and the culture itself is going. Kind of a fight with morality. It's a lot going on right now in the culture and I want to kind of see how this all plays out, how things relate to each other and just where the collective consciousness kind of moves in the next few years. J. Rule the Damager was already telling you 20 years ago uh, of everything that was wrong with hip-hop and, and where it was going to go and it kind of might kind of say he was right. Maybe not big enough to pull off what he was trying to do but it's kind of some weird insight hip-hop fans know what i'm talking about you also got to kind of remember that there's been a lot of little rumblings lately with big and Pac, you know gene deal and other people coming out and still having conversations about what happened with that situation you don't know how some of that might resurface or it's just a lot of action around puff's name no diddy it's going to be interesting how this all plays out and a lot of this probably will have to do with public perception He's been moving a certain way. It's kind of been an open secret amongst the industry that he's been moving a certain way for years. We're all interested to see who the other names are that are going to be attached to this, who the other people that are going to be involved with this are, and what that ultimately does to Puff's legacy, long-term name, and just kind of what's permissible in society and what's not. Because you also got to kind of take into account these charges are stemming from 
I, I want to say they said 16 years. So sometimes we can move in different ever so fast where some things are kind of maybe borderline, not saying that, you know, some of the things he's been charged with are okay. But cultures and societies move sometimes in a way that, you know, something could be kind of borderline or a gray area. And then five years later, that's something that's completely like not accepted. So that's always interesting to see how what he did and when he did what he did plays out. With them denying him bail, it looks like he's going to be fighting this while he's housed at the Federal Correctional Facility in Brooklyn. Not really been a nice place, but a lot of people, a lot of high profile cases came through there before. A lot of high profile inmates. It's going to be a long ride for him, no diddy. Over the next few years, let's see how this plays out.